Hello, welcome to an e-demo showing how to create and add a device using a security group on the Video Edge. By default, Video Edge will use the camera manufacturer's default password to add and communicate with the camera. If you've changed that default password, you're going to need to use a security group specifying the username and password that you want to use to add the device and communicate with it. So let's go ahead then and do that. I'm going to choose security under devices here and I'll choose the plus icon to create a new security group. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and give my group a name and also a description. I'm moving down then, I'm going to select the username field and I'm going to enter the username that I want to use for communication and adding the device. And I can also specify the password as well and I can confirm that in the next field down. Okay, so if we look below then, you can see we have the option to add any cameras that we already have on the recorder to this group. So for example, if we change the password on any cameras which we have added to the video edge, we could change the credentials that we're using to communicate with them directly here without having to remove the camera and then add it again using the new credentials. I'm not going to do that right now, so I'm just going to choose Save to create the security group. And I'm going to move back across to my device list and I'm going to add a camera using those credentials that I've just specified. So if I choose the plus icon then, of course I'm going to enter a name for the camera and its IP address. And then from the security group drop down, I'm going to choose the security group which I've just created. And if I choose the save icon, that camera is going to be added to the video edge using the credentials which I've just assigned.